Hey guys, uh, in this video we are going to take a look at how we can use Maxif to create objects. So if you see uh, what we have is about five objects which are five teapots and the name like teapot underscore one to teapot underscore five and they have a specific uh, color to uh, them based on the position from the zero 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 coordinate. So if you must have followed the previous uh, video where I explained just the basic of some variables and the for loop. We can relate to it that this counter is a variable which has uh, the value 0 and then we write a loop. So we go from 1 to 5 and then we increment the counter one by one. What we are doing here is basically we are using a command given by max script which is teapot and we are assigning the value to tp. This is a new variable. So this is a short form of teapot tp. And then we access the object's properties like we have tp.name and we assign it a value of teapot underscore the counter. Now the counter is of type integer. So if we recollect that if you have assigned a number, it is of type integer. So we convert it to string by saying counter as string. Then we have the scale. So what we do is we assign the scale a value of 0.25 in x, y, and z. So it scales the teapot uniformly. And because we don't want all the teapots to be created at 0, 0, 0, we offset it by a certain value. So what happens is the first teapot which is created, it will have the position of x, which is 1, multiplied by 10. So the first teapot is going to be at 10, 0, 0. And similarly, the fifth teapot is going to be at 50, 0, 0. And then we access another property and change it, which is called the wire color. Now, this wire color is basically the wireframe color that you can actually change from right here. All right. Now, let's quickly take a look at how we can convert it into a function. So, I'm just going to copy this, cut this, and open the Mac script editor window. And I'm going to open a new editor paste the code so the idea is to convert this to a function which means we write function create teapots and we will say equals this this is the function body and then we are going to copy all of this inside this and then we are going to say tools evaluate all. So if you see, we have a function called create teapots. And if I minimize this window and delete all of these objects, and I just want to paste it here in the listener window and evaluate this. And then we see we have got the same output. So this is a function that we created. But what if the function is not dynamic? You know, you can call create teapot multiple number of times. So let's make the function dynamic. So let's say we want to make the creation of number of teapots dynamic. So we say we need an argument num teapots, all right? And I'm going to replace it by the number five because it was static, now it's a variable. Now we'll say tools evaluate all. Now if you go and run this function, it says an error that it wanted one argument. So now if we want to create just one teapot, it will create just one teapot. And if you see the name is teapot underscore one. Similarly, if you want to create 10 teapots, you just click it right here and it creates 10 teapots. So it goes from one to 10. All right. Now we are also going to make it a little bit more dynamic that we take the scale also, teapot scale. And we're going to replace this value by teapot scale. All right, and I'm going to say tools evaluate all. And now if you run this create teapots function, all right, uh, I need to add the package. It says it wanted two arguments. Now, because we entered two arguments, it wanted two arguments. So if you run with this, it says, again, it has given an error. It wanted two arguments, but it got one. All right, so what are we going to do is create 10 teapots with the scale of uh, 0 
one. And now if you see it created 10 teapots and the scale is very very small and it is from 1 to 10. But so I'm going to delete this and I'm going to say field with a scale of 1 and when you see what happens you get teapots with a scale of 1 which is 100% right here and they now intersect or colliding with each other. So this is a very simple way in which uh, we can actually create uh, a function with variable uh, parameters or arguments. This is it for this video uh, guys and thank you so much for watching.